Yo, what's good, everybody, and welcome back to Shondo's database, man. I know it's been a minute, man. I got a new setup, but we back and we better than ever, y'all. Y'all already know, man. Make sure y'all subscribe and hit that notification bell, like, and share, man. We ain't finna waste no time. We finna get right into it. Now, before we start this video today, today's video is sponsored by SLNP Gallery. SLNP Gallery has all sorts of hoodies, shirts, hats, and accessories, and all varieties of colors and patterns. So you can always stay fresh and clean and don't ever gotta worry about not matching with your fit, man. SLNP Gallery also customizes artwork. So if you have a favorite celebrity, relative, or a favorite piece of art that you want customized, this is the spot for you. Use promo code SLNP2050 for 50% off on all artwork and clothing. So make sure you practice what you preach and show love and peace. Let's go. I'm a big believer that the people who are happiest in their relationships almost never post about it on social media. It's usually the couples that are constantly posting each other on the stories or constantly making, you know, these over the top celebration posts about, you know, adornment and how much they love each other. Usually those are the couples when you meet them in real life, there's like a million red flags. Conversely, the happiest couples, the people that I've met that do genuinely seem in love with each other, those are the people that you wouldn't even know they're dating if you looked at their social media. And I think the reason for this is just because true hallmark of a relationship that is working where they truly are in love e with each other and they care for each other, they're more concerned with making the other person happy rather than projecting an image of happiness on social media, which is ultimately what these platforms like Instagram, TikTok are ultimately built for. Now, personally, in my opinion, I will not look for a significant other on the internet because let's just be honest, the internet is just filled with 304s. Your image matters, so whatever you put out there, that's what they're gonna perceive you as. And if you're wearing clothes that's too revealing and too tight or whatever the case may be, what do you think that man is gonna portray you as? If it looks like a clown, talks like a clown, walks like a clown, nine times out of 10, it's a clown. If you want a woman with standards, then the internet is the worst place to look, in my opinion. I preferably would wanna meet good women at the library, the gym, the place you work. I don't think Instagram and OnlyFans is where you should be looking for women. Now, it's good for sex, but for a long-term relationship, no. He called, she belongs to the streets. I think men are important. Well, like for what? <laughs> I don't know when these women are gonna realize if men disappear tomorrow, the world would literally crumble to its core. 98% of men is holding infrastructure. Who do you think doing this shit? The tooth fairy? I mean, it's just bullshit. Fuck. Oh my, 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 my. 87% of truck drivers are men. So that means all your goods that you're waiting for at home, all of that stuff that you order on Amazon and USPS and all of that stuff, that stuff is coming through a truck that nine times out of 10, a man is driving. Over 90% of military are men. So you mean to sit up here and tell me that you think that this is a joke when it comes to war? It's all fun and games until you need a tire change or a weirdo grab your butt. Don't be crying saying why all the men that because with your attitude, nine times out of 10, you drove that man away. Change the definition of a woman in the fucking dictionary. Google that shit. They just changed the definition. What difference do it make to you? You've been calling women. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is you should be, you should be, you should be offended. As a woman, you should be offended. You got to go through menopause, hot flashes. You got to go through a period every month. You got to go through all the stresses of being a woman, getting up every morning, putting a bra on, your, your back cramping, where my heating pad is from a period. And then you got a man over here with a whole dress and a fucking uh, wig on that's saying, I'm a woman and you a cis woman. All you are is a carrier because that's what the fuck they're saying about you right now. You're just a carrier. Change the this is a sensitive subject that I know a lot of people going to be wanting to bash me on. But look, I don't care, man. I'm here for facts and statistics. I'm not here for violence. 
A woman is an adult human female that possesses an X and Y chromosome. I don't know where we got all this they, them, they, them, invader, them bullshit, bro, but y'all need to please cut it out before people walk around identifying as the ruler of the fucking universe. You had a sex change, Mr. Garrison, but you don't have ovaries or a womb. You don't produce eggs. You mean... I'll never know what it feels like to have a baby growing inside me and then scramble its brains and vacuum it out. That's right. But I paid $5,000 to be a woman. This would mean I'm not really a woman. I'm just a guy with a mutilated penis. I've spoken to women about this situation and majority of women think this stuff is crazy and it is disgusting because they are letting men in women's restrooms with women not wanting them to be in there without their consent. Like, come on, man. I we really finna sit up here and call a dude with a whole beard and hair on his arms and a goddamn beer belly looking like Homer Simpson. All you gotta do is throw a wig on and now he a woman. And y'all know who to blame, right? Feminist. So yeah, of course, it's 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 frustrating because like when we try to talk <laughs> about it, we get shouted down, we get told to be quiet, we we get. I will say this is the same thing as blackface because white people betrayed themselves as black. They're making fun of us and basically acting like they know what it is to be a black person. When you see these biological men, you see them acting like they have menstrual cycles and periods and cramps and they acting like they can get pregnant. By definition, that is gender dysphoria, which is a sign of mental illness. I want to identify as a pillow and sleep all day, but I can't. Men don't like that. Women with face, hair, neck tattoos, quality men don't like that. Women walking around here with these inflated butts falling behind them like wagons. There are men that like that, but it's definitely not a quality man because quality men don't like that. Women who are in and out the strip club making it rain, acting like real live dudes. You're not a man. How unattractive. Quality men don't like that. Women who are in and out of relationships in November, you with Ray Ray. In December, you with Tay Tay. Not only do you look trash, you look nasty. Quality men don't like that. A quality man may play with that, but a quality man will never commit to that because quality men don't like women like that. However, you do you, but a quality man will What's a quality lady who carries herself like a real lady? Quality men don't fast shot out, thugged out women, interesting, attractive, or appealing. That's why most are single, ringless, in and out of relationships because quality men won't settle down with women like that. And yes, woo! Boy, auntie just went in. But no, on a serious note, women choose sex and men choose relationships. I don't know when are people gonna realize this, but men, first of all, we didn't even ask for fake asses and makeup and shit. I don't know who lied to y'all. Women are altering themselves just to get attraction from the 1% of guys, man. Like, let's just keep it a buck. All girls are fucking the same dude. But the other majority of men just want a regular girl, bro. There are just three simple things that you have to do to keep a man. Don't be a hoe, make sure he not hungry, and keep him satisfied. That's really all you have to do. Men are simple creatures. It's women who are the difficult ones and they're looking for anything to disqualify a man nowadays. I will survive y'all to invest in cat and dog food because it's gonna be a lot of single women in the next 10 years. Sorry to say it, but the facts show. Hey, looking at this video, I can see why. Hey, that poster ain't lying. You was a damn fool. Bro, can we just admit that the poster is not capping? You just gotta do better, man. Like, come on, bro. This Nazi guard would sleep with prisoners, then send them to the gas chamber. Irma Gries was a sadistic Nazi guard at the concentration camp Auschwitz, nicknamed the Hyena of Auschwitz. Described as attractive with large blue eyes and blonde hair, she was the poster child for the Aryan race. Gries was known for whipping women on their breasts and forcing Jewish girls to watch as she are worded inmates. She would beat at least 30 women to death every day and enjoyed selecting young, attractive girls for SA before sending them to the gas chambers. 
Greece was known for being a nymphomaniac and would essay male and female prisoners, even organizing orgies with other Nazi guards and their wives. She participated in medical experiments on prisoners and watched with pleasure as a woman gave birth while tied up. Greece even had lampshades made from the skin of three dead prisoners. After the war, Irma was arrested and put on trial for her crimes. She was unapologetic and at the age of 22 she was sentenced to death by hanging and became the youngest Nazi criminal to be executed. So you mean to tell me this lady was 22 years old making lamps out of skin? I'm glad somebody showed me this video because people are always trying to act like women aren't capable of the R word, bro. Let's stop this cap. Men tend to show aggression through violence. Women show aggression through manipulation. And you can see it clear as day that this woman was manipulative as F. Not too long ago, I seen a video of Adrian Broner, the professional boxer, sitting around a table group of women. He was telling his story about how his first child was born, and he was saying how he was literally raped by his first baby mama, and the women were laughing at this man, bro. Imagine if the roles were reversed. Well, one time I felt like I was raped when, um... <laughs> Yo, look at everybody's reactions when he said that. They're laughing. They're laughing. Laugh. I'm so serious, though. Yeah. Like, no, see? believe me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. both ways. I, I, it does I, I, go I, both ways. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Ways. I got real drunk. I got real drunk, right? And I uh, went to this club called Seven. It's in Cincinnati. And I woke up at my baby mom's house, my first baby mama house. And I woke up naked. And that's all I remember. Oh, my God. And when I woke up, I'm like, how the fuck I get here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bitch, you raped me. <laughs> That's much. what I told her. I'm so sick of him. And next thing we know, Armani was born. I, I'm dead serious, too. I'm sorry, Armani. But, <laughs> but he was born. But I, I always tell her, I'm like, "Bitch, you raped me. Can you imagine telling a group of men that you were raped and they all laughed at you? That's fucking crazy. And you had to have the kid? That's crazy. This man is literally a victim and y'all just laughed in his face like it was a joke. Like, that's kind of fucked up. Where's the equality? Ma'am, 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 excuse me. Uh, yeah. No one in this uh, subway cart has the courage, but we're all smelling an aroma. Are you wearing underwear right now? No, oh my God, you can smell it from there. Absolutely. It's so bad. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Can you get off? Ma'am, ma'am. This guy said you have to exit the train now. Yo shit stank, G. <laughs> and then she really trying to act like she can't smell it like bro everybody's smelling you can't fake this shit bro oh my god uh, is it me uh i can smell i can't smell if you don't get off that train and watch your boy what if somebody was eating like uh, <laughs> Ooh, one down i know somebody who won't be having any I'm starting to feel funny. Well, I feel fine. I guess I'm going to be... That's the end of the video today, y'all. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment, and hit that notification bell. Tune in next time. I'm out. Peace!